everyone and welcome back to Upside Down Disney. If you're new here, my name is Jess and today I'm coming at you guys with my September Bibbidi unboxing. So typically I have been getting Bibbidi every other month, um, but at the end of the month of August, I forgot to pause my subscription for September. So now I have a September box and then I'm also going to be getting an October box. Um, so it was a total accident, but like a happy accident because I really have been loving Bibbidi so much that I'm super excited to be getting a September box. Um, so for anybody who is not aware of what Bibbidi is, they are a Disney subscription box company. Um, they don't just do Disney though. They do like Marvel and Star Wars and Harry Potter, um, and like Universal and some other things as well. Um, but I get the Disney subscription box and I also say that like you can kind of surprise me and mix in some of my other fandoms as well. So I do have like what Marvel characters and Star Wars characters and things I'm interested in. Um, so that way I can get some of that included in my box every month as well. So they have a bunch of different price points. My box is the Ultimate Magic Box, which retails for $119. Um, plus shipping so and you're guaranteed to get at least that amount if not more of value out of your box um, they have lowered uh, tiers like the fantasy box um, which I think is maybe like a $60 box and, and some lower price tiers than that um, they also do little like pin subscription boxes and sticker and magnet subscription boxes as well which are the sparkle box and the bling box um, and they also have a couple of boxes that are even of a higher tier um, I forget what those boxes are called um I think like even more magic or something like that and they go up to like three hundred dollars I think um but those are like super limited every month so if you are wanting something a little bit extra um and you're lucky enough to snag one of those boxes um for the month definitely go ahead and do that if that's something you're into um for now I am just sticking with the ultimate magic box which is $119 plus shipping like I said um, and Bibbidi gives you an extensive preferences sheet and they also feature a wish list. So with the preferences, you can kind of list out what characters you want to see, what you don't want to see, what types of products you do and don't want to see, if there's specific brands that you like and brands that you don't like. Um, like I think I specifically have no Alex and Ani listed because I like have bought myself so many Alex and Ani bracelets that I'm like terrified that I would get an Alex and Ani, but I am okay with bracelets from other brands like Lillian and Co and things like that. Um, so it's just kind of those little things that you can like really like customize and make it specific to your preferences and say like I do not want to see this in my box and Bibbidi is so good at following the preferences and making sure that they do not appear in your box at all. Um, I've never had them kind of go against my preferences yet. Um, whereas I've noticed when other people unbox other subscription boxes they will get things that they have put specifically on like their do not want list. Um, so I've always noticed that Bibbidi like sticks very well to my preferences and does not give me anything that I don't want. So there was a lot of things on the wish list that I favorited this month. There was a couple of things I think that I put on my preferences recently as like items that if they can find it, I would love it to be included. Um, I'm kind of manifesting something <laughs> with my ears based on the weight of this box. I am hoping that a specific item is in here. Um, so trying to manifest that with my Marie ears on today. Um, so we're just going to jump right into this box and see what we get. So inside, well, first of all, before I bust into the box, let's talk about the box itself. It features the iconic Bibbidi logo, and then you have just a whole bunch of little Disney Parks icons. You have Small World, Tower of Terror, the Epcot Ball. Um, you have some little Mickey snacks, Mickey balloons, all sorts of fun snacks, some fireworks all over there. Um, so just like some very classic Disney things. Um, and so I know I'm opening this into like the first week or second week of October you're going to be seeing this box probably. So my box typically does not end up going out until like towards the end of the month but I always get it like shipped out before the end of the month and then sometimes depending on how long shipping takes I might get it you know after the start of the new month um, but it always ships out before the end of the month. Um, so you're not like waiting on your next monthly box before so you're not waiting on a box before you get charged or like when you get charged for your next box, um, which is something that I really love about Bibbidi. So opening it up, there is no bag inside this time, but there is a spooky little folder. It says spooky season. I'm going to need to frame this and hang this, but this features our packing slip in here, 
um so we are going to just kind of leave that alone but on the inside it says boo to you it's really not so scary boo to you a trick-or-treat for you that's boo it's you know who and boo to you and you and you and you happy halloween so it's a little like boo to you song the, so this, the inside here has different um like ghost mickey prints and pumpkin prints and things like that and the inside has the boo to you kind of song um from the parade so that's super cute and then there is no bag this time but we do have some tissue paper and some foozles again every once in a while i feel like they go back to foozles um i think maybe if they like run out of bags or something but that is okay we do not mind foozles here okay if i am seeing a big box it is not the thing i was trying to manifest but it is something that i think i will love just as much so we have ooh, quite a few things in here this month so first up i have a little sample of coffee i believe i did put this on my wish list it's um from a company called fable grounds coffee and they partner with bibbity to make exclusive coffees and this one is another glorious morning witches brew and it is a hocus pocus inspired coffee so i definitely wanted to give this a try and i'm definitely open to like snacks and food and especially coffee um, so I'm super excited about this. I'm definitely gonna have to give this a try with my partner. I see a candle from Wishes Candle Co. And I am so excited about it. This is the Halloween on Main Street candle. So it is supposed to smell like Halloween time at Disney World and that is like my favorite time of year to be at Disney so I am super excited to give this candle a smell oh my gosh so that is like the perfect like sweet pumpkin spice kind of candle it has gold glitter all over the top um and every wishes candle co candle has a Disney pin inside um so I'm super excited about that I usually I'm not the biggest fan of like pumpkin-y scents, but this is like good. It's like a cinnamony, pumpkin-y kind of smell. Um, and I am like obsessed with this. Next up, I see a Loungefly wallet and it matches a backpack that I recently got. So we have the Spider-Gwen wallet, which will match my Spider-Gwen backpack. I'm definitely taking this wallet to Comic-Con with me, which I will have already gone to Comic-Con by the time you see this video. Um, but I have not gone just yet, so I'm definitely going to take this with me because I plan on using my, my Spider-Gwen backpack one of the days that I am there. So the inside is just pink and black with a little card holder slot. And then on the inside is a little Spider Gwen themed print with some spider webs and prints and prints of Gwen herself and then some spiders and all sorts of good stuff. So I am super excited about this. I love Lashfly wallets. I'm very excited about this one. And then I think that this is the last item in here. feeling anything else and I think there could be a spoiler on this side or this side I, I don't know so I'm gonna oops, nope the spoiler is on this side so this is a Disney showcase Miss Mindy figure um, I don't have any Disney showcase Miss Mindy's so I am super excited about it it has well the Miss Mindy printed on the top I think I did favorite a couple on my wish list this month um, so I'm really excited to see which one it is. I also hope that I don't get the same one in a swap box that I'm doing for Halloween. If Because I, I don't remember if I favorited any of those. Um, I think I might not have. It might have just stuck to like some other ones. So I, I really don't remember which ones I favorited though. There was a Jim Shore that I favorited that I really, really wanted. Um, but that one was probably like super popular. But I am excited to get a Miss Mindy Disney showcase because all I have are like the little vinyl figures so far um but I love her style and her design so I've been dying to have some of the like nicer um kind of figurines like Jim Shore like ones that she makes um so I'm super excited about whatever is in this box so let's see Oops. 
Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I actually, I technically already have this. I bought it from Hot Topic um, when I had lunch money and I also asked for it in a box swap. So I'm like, now I'm really scared that I'm gonna get like a third one in my box swap box when I open it. Um, but I have it from box launch that I bought and I haven't hauled any of the things yet. Um, but I mean, I, I really love this. I'm so excited about it and it perfectly fits my preferences so it's like so on point and they hadn't like I feel like I just kind of like doubted I would get it in a bibbity box so I just kind of picked it up on my own before like I never saw it again um but that's okay because I'll use one for a giveaway <laughs> or in another box swap with somebody who's a nightmare fan or something I'll, I'll find uses for it um and oh my gosh it's so pretty it's so pretty. This is this is just as good as the gym shore that I wanted. So this is the mayor from the Nightmare Before Christmas. And he is sitting on a little pumpkin. They came out with him and they came out with a zero one and then they came out with a couple of other ones. Um but the mayor and zero were the ones that I wanted the absolute most because they zero is just adorable and the mayor is just one of my favorite characters um and they don't really make too many like figurines of him so I absolutely knew I needed to have him so he's sitting on a super like mischievous looking jack-o-lantern and then you have his little happy face and he's holding his megaphone he's got a little lollipop in his pocket his spider um little bow tie and then on the back, you have his little sad face. And he has his big top hat. He is so adorable. So this one is, he's just called the mayor. And then on the bottom, you have the Disney traditions and Miss Mindy logos and the Nightmare Before Christmas copyrights. Um, so I'm super excited for him and to find a place. I have to start decorating for Halloween. I am like so behind. It is October 4th and I have not put up my decorations yet. I usually do it in September, but I've just been so busy that I have not gotten a chance. Um, but I am definitely, definitely going to do it soon. Hopefully today after I've kind of filmed like the bulk of like the big things that I had that I needed to film. Um, so yeah, I am going to try to like clean up and decorate for Halloween a little bit tonight. Um, and he's going to go perfect on my Halloween display. So I, I just really hope that I don't get a third one from my uh, Halloween swap box, which I'm waiting to open until I decorate for Halloween. He's just gonna go on my Oogie Boogie shelf for now to be safe. Um, but yeah, so that is my box. Let's take a look at the packing slip and see what kind of value I got. So this was the Ultimate Magic box. Again, like I said, um, my box was curated with love by Josh, who I believe is Amanda husband he's somebody's husband or boyfriend um and he's packed my boxes before so thank you so much josh you do an amazing everybody who, at bibbity who packs boxes does an amazing job um so the things that i got were the bibbity x fable grounds coffee exclusive blend hocus pocus another glorious morning flavored coffee uh two ounce ground which was 4.99 the world of miss mindy nightmare before christmas mayor figurine which was 60 dollars the bibbity x which is candle co eight ounce candle Halloween at the Magic Kingdom inspired Halloween on Main Street candle, which was $20. And then the Loungefly Marvel Spider-Gwen cosplay zip around wallet, which was $40 for a total of $124.99 for this box. And honestly worth every penny, everything perfectly nails my preferences. It was a very like spooky season themed box, I feel, um, which was awesome. Um, so I should have worn Halloween ears, <laughs> but I had no idea what would be in here. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love everything. The coffee is amazing. I absolutely love coffee. Um, and I've been meaning to kind of try the coffee company that they've recently like partnered with. Um, and the candle is awesome. I, you can never have too many candles and I love wishes candles so much. Um, the Miss Mindy figure obviously hits it out of the park, the launch by wallet. I love spider Gwen. I requested the backpack a couple months ago. Um, and so I'm super stoked that I got the wallet as well to match. Um, so everything just kind of hit it out of the park and you do get exclusive items with Bibbity, um, or they partner with other small shops, which is awesome. So then you're supporting kind of like two small shops in one. Um, and I absolutely just love it. So Bibbity is definitely 
my favorite Disney subscription box that I have tried so far um, and the only one that I'm currently still ordering on a regular basis. So definitely check out Vividi. If you're interested, I will leave them linked down below and there's coupon codes like all over the internet, YouTube, Disney, YouTube space um, from all of their brand reps. Um, so definitely um, check them out. Use a coupon code you know, get yourself a box um, and kind of see if you like it. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item from this box was or what your favorite item from your Bibbidi box this month was if you do get Bibbidi. Remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you can come get stuck in the upside down with me again soon. And as always, if you like this video and you want to see and hear more of me, you can follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, both at Upside Down Disney. Um, and yeah, I hope that you all have a magical day. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.